Greetings. I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Techno's product review. The biggest, baddest kid on the block just sucker punched the tar out of the competition with an offering so massive that it would literally bust this table if I tried to show it to you. It's the new EcoFlow Delta Pro, of course. Today's review is gonna be a little bit different. We're going to briefly review the main features of the Delta Pro, but we're gonna skip all the technical testing and go right to the practical applications. For example, if you wanna know how long the Delta Pro will run your fridge, toaster, air conditioner, this is your video. I'll keep it beginner friendly and brief for the advanced folk who want a half hour presentation showing all the nerdy testing. That will be in a separate video. So let's start with the features. The battery in the Delta Pro is one of its main features. It offers a whopping 3600 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 3500 cycles to 80%. For those of you that don't know, 3600 watt hours is the equivalent power of three battle-borne lithium batteries. And this actually has wheels and a handle, unlike the batteries. Size and weight, it's 25 by 11 by 16 at around 100 pounds. Yep, I said that correctly. This is 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. Well, you can just get yourself another delivery boy. Needless to say, you're never gonna have to go to the gym again if you get one of these. As for build quality, they did tell me this is a prototype style case. So you have kind of not so great doors and things on here that they say they're gonna do better in the retail version that you're going to get. So don't think you're gonna get that you're very likely to get something higher quality. They did tell me this is a temporary case. So with that in mind, it is all ABS plastic. The whole thing, all the way around, every side is plastic. There's no metal, there's a glass screen. They have these sort of rubbery wheels on the back. And then the handle itself that pops out of the front here. I think that's also plastic. I don't see any metal on this. It does include two giant plastic handles with these pads on here so it doesn't cut off the circulation in your hands when you and a strong friend lift it up. As for the display, it's a fantastic color LED typical of EcoFlow products. EcoFlow always has the best screens out there. It shows the input and output power, battery percentage, and time to charge and discharge, along with some other minor features. As for the inverter, this is where EcoFlow always shines. They offer a massive 3600 watt pure sign inverter with what they call X boost. And that X boost gets you up to 4,500 watts through these four 110 volt 20 amp outlets and a 30 amp RV hookup. Now this X boost allows you to run larger appliances by actually dropping the voltage. So anything that has a computer chip in it, like an induction stove or a microwave, you're gonna to wanna to shut this feature off. It does work great for power tools that require a large startup load. As for the built-in solar controller, it is of course MPPT, which is what you want nowadays, and it supports a maximum of 1200 watts of solar. Now this could be from the three EcoFlow 400 watt panels you can get in a bundle with this, or a combo of panels from other brands such as Rich Solar or Bouge RV. As for ways to charge, EcoFlow does claim 2.7 hours of charge from AC wall outlet. Now this is all you need, there is no power brick. The charger is built in. And weighing 100 pounds, the charger better be built in. So they claim 2.7 hours to charge this from dead to full. So I was in fact able to charge this from the wall at 2.7 hours using the maximum charge rate built into this. Now, by default it comes from the factory, at least mine did in a slower charge mode. There's actually a switch on the back that allows you to switch between maximum charging and a slower charge rate. So say you're gonna plug this into a wall that has an air conditioner, refrigerator, or something on it, possibly could blow the circuit. It can't support the full 1800 watts. You can flip that switch. And then inside of the app, you can adjust how much power do you want this to go through the AC wall outlet. 
So that's super handy. That was one of my biggest problems with the original Delta was that I would plug it into say a long extension cord and it would trip the breaker or I'd plug it in to someone's outlet outside in their house. And this happened many times. It tripped the breaker in their house because that outside outlet usually has a bunch of other outlets running stuff on it. So very welcome feature in the Delta Pro. They also claim it'll charge in four hours from 1200 watts of solar. So it does include this nice long MC4 cable and allows you to plug in up to 1200 watts of solar. Now it also will charge in three hours from their auto start smart generator, which I'm gonna cover that in a separate video. That product deserves its own video. It is that cool. And of course it'll take several days to charge this thing if you want to plug it into a 12 volt source. So it can be charged from 12 or 24 volts. It's just gonna take a couple of days if you're charging it from dead. Might be fine if you're just doing a trickle charge. And lastly, one of the coolest ways to charge is from an EV port. Electric vehicle charging stations are all around the country. So with this adapter, you can actually plug it into this port here on the side, plug the EV charger into this, and boom, you can actually charge this thing from an electric vehicle charging station. That is a first. As for 12 volt output types, this sports a 30 amp, 12.6 volt regulated Anderson output, which is very nice and allows you to power 12 volt devices such as fans and lights in your RV or van build. This is actually becoming a feature that we're seeing in a lot of other power stations. Of course, Blue Eddy was the first to do this. Now the others are following, and I actually like the fact that the Anderson port is built into this. You don't need any weird extension cables or special adapters or anything. Just plug right into the Anderson output, stick that right into your fuse box, and boom, you can power your max air fan, your 12 volt lights, whatever else in your van or RV that you have decked out. This also, of course, has a 12 volt 10 amp car output and a pair of 38 watt 5521 or 5.5 barrel plug outputs. Those 5521 outputs, they're pretty versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with it. And a lot of people ask me, what are they for? Well, one of the main things you can use them for is you can buy this adapter on my website that allows you to create more cigarette lighter outputs. So say you want to plug more than one thing into a cigarette lighter socket. Well, this one has one built in, but it has two 5521 ports. You can actually put two more adapters in there and have a total of three cigarette lighter outputs. Pretty cool. As for USB output types, we have two 100 watt power delivery ports, two 18 watt quick charge ports, and two standard USB ports. You'll never be short of USB power here. In fact, you can power and charge two high end laptops at the same time. For example, if you got a pair of MacBook Pros, you can charge those simultaneously along with a pair of high end tablets all at the same time. Now, as for other outputs on this, this is what they call the infinity port. It's down here in the corner. This is a two-way AC port that works with various EcoFlow products. It also allows you to charge from a car, like I mentioned before, using this adapter. Yet, assuming you can actually get this hefty monster into the back of your car or your cargo area, you can actually charge this with an EV charger. For boondockers that don't have a lot of solar, this might be a saving grace. As for other features, it does include mobile app control, so you can control this thing wirelessly. You don't have to touch any of the buttons or mess with the screen. You can do it all on your phone or tablet. You can also get an optional wired remote control. Say you wanna put this in a permanent location, you need to use a wired remote control. You can run that just using a regular computer network cable to any location you want and be able to turn it on and off, see the display, and turn on and off the DC and AC. And as many of you already know, you have the ability on this to chain up to two additional 3.6 kilowatt hour external batteries for a total of 10.8 kilowatts, which is enough to power a large residential refrigerator for a full week. And as for the warranty, EcoFlow is offering three years to anybody who joins the Kickstarter and pledges for one of these on their campaign page. If you decide to wait for retail, the warranty is gonna be only two years. And of course, we took the Delta Pro into our secret laboratory where we performed one experiment on it. Yeah, for our abbreviated testing, we actually only checked the overall battery capacity when running AC appliances. This is what most folks are gonna care about. Because the battery in the Delta Pro is so massive, 
I decided to go ahead and run the battery capacity test using the window air conditioner I have in this room, which is 5,000 BTUs. It takes about 450 watts on average. Here are those results. Final results of the Delta Pro. I'm using the jacker here to power the meter. 3.29 kilowatt hours. And it ran for 434 minutes. That's about seven and a quarter hours. So what have we learned? We learned that the Delta Pro can run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner for about seven and a quarter hours. Yeah, you can see the results there. 3,290 watt hours out of 3,600 or a very impressive 91%. This is definitely above average for the industry. I have to wonder, is it the inverter in this that's so efficient or is the battery capacity actually being underrated? Now we won't know until we take it apart, which I'm gonna save for another day. I'm not gonna talk about price in this situation because the Delta Pro is currently kickstarting, which means it's crowdfunding. Prices are gonna change depending on the length of the campaign. If you get in right now, the price is gonna be lower than it is if you wait till the very end. That's just the way crowdfunding is. The early bird pricing on this is definitely competitive, but do be aware that if you decide to wait for the retail sale of this product, the price is no longer gonna be very competitive. EcoFlow is notorious for offering a very, very low level of entry on their crowdfunding prices than making up for it on the retail side. So what am I trying to say? If you really want one of these, I suggest you get it right now, today, and don't wait because as more and more of these sell, the price is gonna continue to climb. If you're afraid to do kickstarting or you don't like to do crowdfunding, you can wait till retail, but just be aware it's probably gonna be about double the price when it goes on the shelf. For recommended solar, I do recommend you get their three 400 watt solar panels as part of the campaign package. That is, if you plan to set the Delta Pro up somewhere temporary or plan to move it around a lot. If you plan to keep it stationary, I recommend you get the 200 watt Rich Solar or 180 watt Bouge RV rigid glass panels for about a third of the price. Now, what about practical use? What's this thing good for? What can it do? How long can it run things? Well, let's take a look and see what the Delta Pro can run and for how long. Now, will the Delta Pro run a microwave and for how long? Ooh, that's a big one. All right, 1800 watt microwave. How long will it run? It says right there, two hours. How about a toaster? Let's plug in the toaster and see how much power it takes, how long it'll run. There we go, about 780 watts. It says you can run the toaster for four hours. That's a lot of friggin' toast. Okay, how about a 55 inch Samsung TV, a big screen? How long is it gonna be powered? By the Delta Pro. So there we go, 55 inch big screen TV. It's taken 121 watts. It says it'll run for 20 hours. How about a Mr. Coffee coffee maker? Now this is a small coffee machine, but you guys always ask, so you're about to find out the answer. Let's go ahead and brew. There we are, hit the brew now button. All right, we're now brewing coffee at 646 watts. It says it'll run it for five hours. That's a heck of a lot of coffee. that will keep you up for weeks. How about an electric heater? I have this electric heater on low. And it's taking about 840 watts. It says it'll take four hours to kill the battery. So there you go. Run an electric heater this size for four hours. Ladies, how about a hair dryer? This is an 1800 watt hair dryer on maximum. Sixteen hundred watts. It says it'll run for at least two hours. That should be plenty of time to dry your hair. So of course you want to know how long will a fan run on low on the Delta Pro? Well, it says it's taking about fifty watts, and it'll run for an entire day. So there you go, plenty of cooling on a hot day. So how about a small apartment size or dorm size residential refrigerator? It's only pulling 75 watts while the compressor's running. It says it'll run for a day. It'll actually run a lot more than that. The EcoFlow here says it's gonna run for only a day. It's actually gonna run this refrigerator for about a week. And I've tested this before. This refrigerator only uses about 350 to 400 watt hours per day. And this has 3,300 watt hours usable. So yeah, 
almost a week. So pretty good stuff. And of course you're wondering how long will it run a laptop? Well, this happens to be a high performance laptop with dedicated video, eight core processor. So it takes a lot of power. It says 127, 128 watts, and it will actually run for 20 hours. And that doesn't include the built-in battery, which would get you, on this case, about another 10 hours. Pretty cool, keep you entertained during a blackout. So we're out here today in the beautiful Arizona mountains. I have my Road Trek RV right here. And one of the features of the Delta Pro is the fact that it has a 30 amp RV hookup on it. Well, I happen to have a 30 amp RV and a 30 amp plug. So those of you in RVs know exactly what this is. This is a 30 amp shore power plug and it runs into my Road Trek RV. Inside I have microwave, air conditioning, fans, all kinds of stuff going on. So let's plug this in, go inside, turn everything on, see what kind of power we're pulling, and let the Delta Pro tell us how long it's actually gonna run. So you can see the Delta Pro is fully charged. It says if I sit here and do nothing and just leave the inverter on, it's gonna take five days to discharge. Let's go ahead and plug my RV in, see what happens. Okay, so right now all we have is the roof fan running. Now note my batteries are disconnected, so it is not charging the batteries. It's not doing a battery charge right now. And the air conditioner is blowing warm. It's gonna take a minute for the compressor to kick on, and we'll go show you what it's running. In the meantime, I have a cup of water in here and an Odin Comanji cup, if you're interested, of Otech.tv. Let's go ahead and hit the microwave and see what kind of power it pulls. And we're pulling 1400 watts. That's with the air conditioner, microwave, and fan running all at the same time. It says right here, you get about two hours of runtime. So now let's shut off the microwave, just run the air conditioner. It is a little bit warm out here. So let's pretend like we're camping. We wanna run just the air conditioner off the EcoFlow Pro. We're now running just the air conditioner. It's a 6,000 BTU unit and we're pulling about 480 watts. It says here, We'll be able to run it for seven hours. That's pretty awesome. For those of you that aren't in the know about this frigid air air conditioner, I installed this last summer to survive the heat in Tucson and it worked great. It's actually very efficient and one of the few air conditioners out there with a built-in soft start, so it's perfect for generators. If you're interested, it's on my Amazon page. So what about a refrigerator, or more specifically, a deep freezer? Now this is a deep freezer, it's a residential size model. Let's plug it in and see how much power it takes. Now I have had this unplugged for about a half an hour, so the compressor should kick on right away. There you go, the compressor on the deep freezer is running, and it's taking 122 watts. It did spike up to almost 1,000 for a split second as the compressor kicked on, but this handles it no problem. And you can see you can get a full day pretty much 24 hours with a compressor on. Now let me tell you that is completely inaccurate because I know exactly how much power this freezer takes. It's somewhere around 350 watt hours a day. So this freezer could run about 10 days. Now that's the problem with these meters on these power stations. They only tell you the power that it's consuming while it, the compressor is running. So things like air conditioners, refrigerators, freezers, they have a compressor that kicks on and off. On a deep freezer, it might only kick on once an hour for a few minutes just to keep it at zero degrees. So it takes very little power. So don't let that discourage you from getting something like this as backup power because it literally will run this freezer for a week. So if you're interested in the Delta Pro or the aforementioned solar panels, links are in the description of this video. I will release another video in the future before the campaign ends covering a lot more of the technical details about this product and the external batteries and their smart generator and their solar panel Amy Tilty thing. All that's gonna be coming up in the future. I'm gonna start trying to make shorter, more beginner friendly videos. So if you like this new format, let me know below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, You know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time.
Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. And next time I'll show you all about how to hook these batteries up and we'll do some performance testing. All kinds of fun stuff coming up. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't forget and you miss the video. So stay tuned. Odin commands you. So you might be wondering, can you pull this on gravel? Well, I'm doing it. It's not easy, <laughs> but I'm doing it. Pulling a hundred pounds on gravel. Woohoo! Go ahead, make my day. RV Golf Guy, Matt Medic Audio Repair, Andrew Vaughn, Roger Cardano, Brian Weavers, Johnson, Jason Soroka.